Ooh, I am really curious what's in this mysterious box. It's a weapon. Yeah, it doesn't get more fancy than this. And that's how to kill all possible tension for a lame joke in just 10 seconds. I hope you're still gonna watch the rest of the devlog. By the way, I'm Yannick and this is Aesop Prod. I'm currently making a small RPG where you can find a ton of different and weird weapons. These weapons are switching automatically after some usage, so you must always keep track on the weapons that you're holding and using to make the best out of it. Right now, when you're hitting the enemy, actually not much is happening. There will be some blood effect, but that's it. And if you kill the enemy, well, nothing happens. So the first thing that I did this week was trying to make the fight more visual appealing. Therefore I created this dusty particle effect that is played as soon as you hit the enemy and I used the same effect when you kill him but then it's bigger and better and stronger and more. Yeah, hopefully it's just nicer. Since I'm already updating the fighting there's an other problem and that is that you don't get anything for killing the enemy. No reward, no cookie, no anything. So let's change this. I created this little beautiful glowing ball. It's not that awesome, but you can change the color and maybe I will do some disco light out of it. I don't know. I adjusted the UI so the amount of balls that you picked up will be shown and now you can pick up the ball and get some points and yeah you can pick it up more than once that's totally fine i guess it needed just some scripting and now the enemies are dropping the balls dang it i need another word for it i don't know points well okay and also they sometimes drop hard containers so you can get life yeah, I know it's not looking too good right now, but I had no time for improving this anymore. But next week I promise you the point system or the ball system will look awesome. As you already saw in the preview, I created these little boxes with the weapons inside. The reason is that I didn't like the weapons just lying around and if you find a place where a weapon is then there's a new nice surprising factor because you only see the box and you don't know what's inside and then you destroy it and then you find scissors. Well maybe you don't like your haircut and you're happy with this, I don't know. Another thing on my to-do list is a problem with my current tile maps, because I don't have fitting tiles for the top right and top left corner for my walls, so this looks pretty bad and I need to fix that. I spent some hours and used all my artistic skills to create some new tiles for the walls, with the result that they suck bad. Well, there's absolutely nothing I like about this and I didn't see a way how to fix it, so I just threw it completely away. Instead of drawing completely new walls, I just adjusted the old tile map and here's the result. I added some new corners and now everything is fine and I can make smooth transitions between the walls. And since I was already working on the background, I thought I could make the background destroyable. Well, for example, like the bushes, I can just cut them and destroy them and that would maybe be nice. I don't know. I just needed to adjust the tag and the collider layer and add an enemy script to it and it should just work. Wait, what? Where did all the bushes go? That's what a porn star from the 80s would ask watching modern days videos. No, serious. Where are they? And where are my bushes? Okay, implementing destructible objects in the world would take a longer time. I don't know if it's worth it. What do you think? The problem is that I would need to write new scripts and I also had to make some new animations and drawings for destroying them because when everything turns into dust that would look pretty bad I guess. 
So shall I do it or not? Just tell me in the comments and I will see. And this was all the progress I did this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you don't want to miss any upcoming devlog, you should definitely subscribe now. So I will see you next week again. Bye bye.